What if we take two different great outcomes of 2023 and build a new thing? Will it be actually better? And that is the fundamental principle of these researchers who created a new paper called MOE Mamba. So they've taken Mamba, which is an SSM based model, and they've taken MOE, which stands for a mixture of experts, which is quite popular with the Mistral fans with their new Mistral model. So they've taken these two and then combined them into one thing. They're calling this MOE Mamba. And we want to see whether that actually performs better than the vanilla, the basic Mamba. And spoiler alert, before you go into the video, it actually does it better. Otherwise, this paper wouldn't have been a paper. This would have been on somebody's recycle bin, but it ended up becoming a paper primarily because MOE Mamba is actually good. It in fact requires 2.2 times lesser number of training steps than the vanilla Mamba just to hit the same accuracy or in this case log perplexity. So to hit the same performance as the vanilla Mamba, you need 2.2 times lesser step. Like for example, let's say you have 100,000 steps required for vanilla Mamba to hit 3.5 approximately perplexity, log perplexity. The MOE Mamba requires less than 50,000 steps to hit the same log perplexity. It's very interesting. That's exactly why this video is made. Let's get into it. So the paper is called MOE Mamba, Efficient Selective State Space Models with a Mixture of Experts. SSMs stand for the state space models, which is what based on Mamba was created. So they've taken that and they have just combined it and created MOE Mamba. How they created, we'll dive deeper into it. So if you see this chart, you can see that one log perplexity has to come down. So perplexity is like this thing that measures how much coherent text these large language models can create. I mean, it has nothing to do with large language models in itself. You can have perplexity even when human beings are creating like writing things, but perplexity should be less. The lesser the perplexity, let's say better it is. Now, when you see the perplexity coming down, you can actually see the orange color thing, which is MOE Mamba. Then you have got like this purple color thing, which is Vanilla Mamba. Then you have got like the cyan green color thing that is Transformer MOE. And you have got the reddish thing, Mamba MLP, which, which I'll explain what is it. And then you have got the transformer model, which is the base one. So you have got the blue color one. Is it blue? Maybe it is blue. So they have compared these five models and they've said that first of all, as you can see, the orange color is better because lesser is better. Second thing is the vanilla Mamba takes 100,000 training steps to reach approximately 3.5 log perplexity while the MOE Mamba requires 2.2 times lesser training steps. That means lesser memory computation, sorry, lesser compute is required for this. Not just that, you would also learn that the SSM based Mamba requires a less memory footprint. And the reason primarily being the intermediate states necessary for back propagation, which is like something that happens inside this deep neural networks are not saved but instead computed like recomputed during the backward pass because of this the it reduces the memory requirement and because of that the advantage of mamba over let's say attention mechanism based transformers is not only that it reduces computational complexity which happens because it offers linear time inference as you increase the context length you don't have to have a quadratic time increase so it has a linear time inference and it's not the only reason why you should probably replace transformer based models with Mamba. Rather, it also offers you lesser memory usage. So memory usage is not dependent on the context length. And because of that, Mamba's performance showcased its ability to efficiently utilize long context window up till 1 million tokens. Now that we learned about Mamba and why we know that Mamba is like a serious contender for transformer based architecture. Let's take a quick look at the MOE mixture of experts. We have discussed MOE multiple times, but there are certain interesting details that you would find here. One MOE models, generally mixture of experts models benefit from something called sparse activation. What does it mean? It means for every token, like for example, you have got like a sentence that says, I love Abdul. Maybe let's assume for now that there are three tokens. So for each token that is processed, only a subset of model parameters are used. If you have got a model, which is like, let's say 56 million parameter. 
not all the 56 million parameters are required for this. Only a subset of that 56 million parameters are used for each of this token, effectively making the lesser computational demands. And uh, that is why Mamba, uh, sorry, MOE has been uh, quite popular these days and it also shows improved accuracy. So now when it comes to MOE, mixture of experts, the routing is a key thing. So because when you get a token, you have got experts, something you have to do between there and that is called a router, right? The routing has to happen. So the routing can be based on two types. One is a token choice. So where each token is routed to a K amount of experts. Like for example, in Mistral, Mistral, every token is routed to two experts. Out of the eight experts they had, two experts were selected and the token was routed to them. So that is token choice. The other option is called expert choice, where the number of tokens routed to each expert is constant across the expert. So here you take one token, send it to two experts, but the other case for all the experts, like if you have got eight experts, eight experts would receive the same amount of token, the constant amount of token. So in this paper, what they are doing is they are using a method called or a token choice architecture called switch, which routes each token to a single expert. The K value is one here. And uh, this has actually enabled in the past to tra scale up transformers up till 1.6 trillion parameters. Now let's see what is happening. So you've got like four different things here. The first one is a vanilla transformer. Bas basically you take the normal transformer. You have got a feed forward layer. You've got the attention layer. The second one is an MOE transformer. Basically you are going to replace the feed forward layer with a mixture of experts, which is what Mistral, Mistral did it. Then you have got Mamba. So Mamba doesn't have attention. So they have got only Mamba. And what they have done MOE Mamba is they have added, uh, like they have interleaved or added a mixture of experts component here. These are the four architectures. Now you might actually think, okay, there was one more architecture that I was describing before, which was Mamba MLP. What is Mamba MLP? So Mamba MLP is nothing but they have uh, taken the vanilla Mamba. So they've taken the vanilla Mamba and they have uh, decided to uh, interleave the vanilla Mamba with a feed forward layer. So if you take this and then have it here, that is one uh, Mamba MLP. So that's how you have got five models in the comparison, not four models. But they ultimately decided that that, that setup that they had did not improve the accuracy or it did not help in the performance. I hope the architecture is clear now. With that information, if you see their training setup, they've gone into extreme details about explaining how things work. So if you see, we have got like five different settings, Vanilla Transformer, Mamba, Mamba MLP, MOE, <coughs> the Transformer MOE and MOE Mamba. And one another thing that they've tried to do is uh, the number of parameters that are exposed to transformers and Mamba architecture are slightly different. So they have done some changes there, like to they have scaled down to make sure that all the model architectures, all the settings that they've got, they get exposed to the same number of tokens. So sorry, same number of parameters. That's something that, uh, that they have managed to uh, do it. The number of uh, tokens on which the models were trained are 6.5 billion tokens. And totally they did it for 100,000 100, steps. And later in this video, you'll also see how the improvement of the model happened with the number of experts that you have got. And the next thing is the data set that they used is C4 data set. And it is a next token prediction. It's not an instruct model. It's a next token prediction task. And they use a GPT-2 tokenizer for tokenizing it. And as you can see here in this chart, so one is the vanilla Mamba. Then you have got one expert, four experts, eight experts, 16 and 32. This actually shows the model performs better when you have got more number of experts. So honestly, this actually helps you validating two things. One, you can say that mixture of experts will do better when you have more experts. That's what this shows. And the other thing is with more number of uh, training steps, the model is doing better, which is something that we already know before. So now if you see the results of this model in itself, you have got five models. So MOE Mamba had 416 million parameters, but the number of active parameters per token was only 26 million. So you can see everything is around 25 million, 26 million. 
and uh, the losses after 100,000 step is 3.41. Transformer, the, the base model is 3.66 and this one is 3.41. But overall, this is better than the base transformer model. This is better than the vanilla, vanilla Mamba. And if you actually see the transformer MOE, so it has got like 545 million parameters and the loss is 3.54. And the Mamba is actually better than that. But the reason it is better is this transformer is a normal transformer architecture. They have not like gone into the details of like how the transformer is. So technically the transformer would ultimately become better than this. But the point here is that Mamba is actually like they said, a serious contender here and with MOE Mamba. So this is actually very exciting. Like you've got a new architecture, the new architecture combined with mixture of experts, which has like been there quite for quite some time, but now it is like hot and everybody likes it. When you combine this with that, this is better than per, be, performing better than the baseline of the new architecture, which could ultimately provide a new alternative for transformer based models. So definitely this warrants more research. And that is the whole point of this video. I think the paper also, it is intended to make people aware that more research should be spent on this kind of new architecture than just building or increasing the number of parameters with transformer based models. So at the end of this paper, they have described what is happening. So their experiments show that interleaving Mamba layer with a performance sparse MOE feed forward layer results in a promising model. So what are they talking about? Interleaving the MOE uh, uh, here uh, with Mamba has a promising uh, step, promising thing. It, it is a promising model. <clears throat> but in a dense setting, what they have figured out that if you don't have MOE, so Mamba performs slightly better without the feed forward layer, without MOE. If you see Mamba, which we described as Mamba MLP, so that does not perform good. So this led them to think one thing, which is, so if you see this architecture, MOE is added as a replacement here, like in the feed forward layer. But what they are saying is, if you actually have MOE within the Mamba layer in itself, like within Mamba itself, which is, so this suggests, integrating sparse computation, which is what MOE is doing within the Mamba layer itself could yield even better result while conserving a simple homogeneous architecture. So right now it's not a homogeneous architecture, but this could actually help in a homogeneous architecture before you become excited and then say, Hey, let's replace all the transformer based models with Mamba MOE. This model, the experiment, like I, I appreciate, I respect the work here. But you know, there is a little bit of skepticism that we need to have because this model is a 256 context length model. I'm not sure how this will hold up when you have like larger context window, how the experiment result would change. That's one thing to keep in mind. The second thing is currently it is a next word prediction model. So that's it. Now I'm not sure like how it would perform with the DPO and all the other stuff because Next word prediction is good, but ultimately what we want is like an instruct model or something better than that. So for that, I'm not sure how well it will perform. And also the metric that they've used here is the log perplexity. I'm not sure if we were to compare this with one of the benchmarks that we have got. And if you use a better data set, will, will it be uh, different? So this is really good to get more attention and then tell people that this particular domain requires warrants more research. But I don't think like this is like production ready today for you to immediately replace the transformer based architectures. Overall, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to learn more about it, create more content about it. This is completely new for me as well. So if you have more information, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.